much made about the freshman class here at San Antonio and the Final Four. But hey, that's going to be a talk once we leave the Alamo Dome. So we're going to continue that here on Destination San Antonio, presented by Coors Light. Joined by Pete Gillen and Steve Lapis of CBS College Sports. I'm Jason Horowitz. Glad to be with you inside the Dome. And uh, guys, we'll leave Michael Beasley and Derek Rose out of this. I think it's a foregone conclusion that those two gentlemen are leaving college and going on to the pros. But let's talk about someone else who was here at the Final Four. Kevin Love. Thoughts, is he ready to be an NBA player? I think he is. And once again, everybody could stay longer and they'd be better players, but I think he's ready because he's fundamentally sound. He's very, very intelligent. He really can play. So I, I think he can certainly play in the NBA because he's smart, he's strong, uh, he can hit the 18, 20 footer, you know. So I think he should certainly, uh, I think he should stay, but I think he's ready to play in the NBA. He definitely can go, but I think he absolutely should stay. I think he got exposed athletically a little bit the other day. Didn't play so well in the second half, only two points, and I think his body he needs to work on. So I'm not saying this kid wouldn't get picked. Obviously he would, and I, I'm not saying he can't play in the NBA, but he needs another year of college, work on his body, and work on playing against athletic guys, I think, a little bit more often. All right, let's stay out in Los Angeles the guy that was out of the tournament in the first round uh, to Michael Beasley, O.J. Mayo. Ready to be an NBA player? No, he's not ready yet. Once again, he was the biggest thing since, uh, you know, the cartoons. Everybody built him <laughs> up when he was a little guy. But what he got to do, he's got to get stronger. He's got to work on shot selection, get a little better feel for the game. He was chucking and ducking, shooting from the hip, you know, heaving and leaving. He's got to learn how to play, I think, get stronger, play some defense. Should definitely stay. I think he's gone because he's a big guy, Steve, when he was in junior high. You know, he thinks he's ready. He's not. He should definitely stay. Not ready. He should definitely stay. Doesn't have the great feel for the game. He wants to be a point guard in the NBA. Turn the ball over a little bit too much this year needs to be in those situations again where now he comes back in a system that he understands and then learns how to play within that system and that will hopefully help him stop turning the ball over because that's a big key if you're going to go to the next level and be a point all right let's talk about a couple of other guards who have already declared for the nba draft pete you take eric gordon not ready yet no he's he's just too much one-dimensional he doesn't have a mid-range game he shoots like a 28 footer like four point shots and he goes through and he tries to dunk it neither one's going to work in the NBA. Uh, you know, he, he can make an NBA three once in a while, but he doesn't have a mid-range game. He didn't shoot it. We did him a couple of times. I saw him up close. Great athlete. All right, but he tries to, he's not going to get in the lane against these big guys. They're going to wham him. He should stay, even though he's he's a terrific athlete. I love him. Should stay. All right, he's already declared. Steve, how about Jared Bayless? He's also already declared. Jared Bayless not ready either. He's positionless. Now, he's a guy I've seen a lot of, and the thing I don't like about Jared Bayless, he's a great player, but right now, they played him at the two, they played him at the one, and he really is an in-between. And at his size, at his height he needs to be an NBA point guard so I think another guy who needs to learn and get a better feel the only thing you worry about when it comes to guys who want to become point guards is do they ever learn to have a great feel for the game that's the thing the only way you're going to learn feel if it's possible is by experience he needs more experience handling the ball all right let's go back to the big guys we started this with Kevin Love here's a couple of names you may not have heard of because their teams weren't very good this year JJ Hickson at North Carolina State he's already de declared and then Anthony Randolph at LSU a freshman Either of those guys ready? They have big bodies, but they're not that big girth-wise. You know, they got to get stronger, in my opinion. I don't think either guy is ready. Once again, saw him just a little bit uh, with LSU and NC State. I think they're both crude, terrific athletes, but too thin, should definitely stay. Now, those those guys, the guys we talked about before, they wouldn't be making huge mistakes if they went, in my opinion. Mayo, Love, this guy, these two guys would be making huge mistakes if they leave because you, you go to that level there being physically not ready, they could ruin your confidence. They could ruin your mind. I think those two guys definitely should be staying. Two other big guys that a lot of people are talking about real quickly. Costa Kufis and Blake Griffin at Oklahoma. Thoughts? Costa Kufus got to get strong. I love his skill. He's very athletic. I think he's going to be terrific. Should stay. Not strong enough. Blake Griffin runs a little closer. He's got a chance. He's got a body of a, a Greek god. He could go. He would be successful, but I'd like to see him stay. But he's, he's good enough to play right away in the NBA. I would put Blake Griffin in the category with love and those guys. Should he stay? Probably. Could he go? Yeah, he probably could go. But as far as uh, who is who? Uh, Costa Kufus. Yeah, the Greek go, guy. Get, a Greek. get the Greeks. I forgot the Greek. Long live Greece. I'm supposed to be the Greek god. You're, you're I thought you were talking about me. Got the cologne on, the moon. <laughs> <laughs> Look great. Costa Kuva is not ready. Needs to be a little tougher inside. He's got a very good perimeter game for a big guy. He can shoot threes and everything. Like to see him get in there. Only average about six rebounds a game. He needs to get in there and bang around a little bit more. Man only goes to Greece for the Olympics in Athens. Thanks for everybody here at Destination San Antonio presented by Coors Light. It's been a great week. College basketball doesn't just finish here on Monday night with the national championship game. It will continue until all these players are drafted at the end of June. For Take care, folks. <laughs>